And what we've heard there, and I guess time and again through our, um, our consultations, is that copyright is really just one lens through which we can consider AI. And often copyright is not the right tool to regulate it. Um, we realize this, and, and I guess that dates to, you know, even our earlier thinking on AI is that beyond copyright, there are several obstacles to sharing and using content, and those are related to ethics, to privacy and data protection, and many other super valid and extremely serious concerns. And what we found is that copyright is a rather, it's a blunt tool that you know often leads to either black and white or you know all or nothing solutions and that is dangerous because it can threaten this this intrinsic balance that is so important to keep copyright um in in place so um to address these concerns several other legal regimes are better suited so um, i mentioned privacy but safety and transparency like we discussed a few minutes ago and that is actually already included in the AI Act. So we think that it's a really good approach to not just throw everything into the copyright bucket. Um, we're also seeing that there are norms and standards that are emerging outside of copyright, you know, just through community practice. Uh, we're seeing opt-outs. I mentioned spawning AI uh, before. Uh, we are also seeing developments in openly licensed data sets for training. I, I mentioned that some developers want to train their models on specifically openly licensed content. And at this point in time, it seems that those approaches will serve to, you know, serve a thriving common. So I guess from CC's perspective, it's clear that we need a diverse community of people to be involved in guiding regulation of generative AI. So we need people with expertise in copyright, certainly, but also in ethics and in privacy and fundamental rights. Um, yeah, we need this diversity because I, like, I don't think we can gloss over the fact that all the major AI companies are all led by men. So we also need to bridge that gender gap. Um, and so it's important to you know, help raise those voices that have not been centered so far so that we can consider this broad range of perspectives and all of these experiences moving forward. 